Greetings, fellow conquerors, and welcome back to Byzantium here in EU4. And I wanted to point out a couple of things uh, that were happening. So, first of all, uh, Sligo is... Uh, he's occupied various parts of Britain, um, including more of Ireland. And this is no doubt because his army is uh, tied up here in France, though he may have gone back to his homeland. Although, Sligo has 14% of a siege on, uh, on London. So who knows, maybe Sligo will be able to take a bunch of land, um, which would be just hilarious. Meanwhile, Russia is rushing uh, everything. Bengal uh, looks a lot scarier than he actually is because this land is like, like this is one province. It's not really that much. The letter U is located in this area. <laughs> uh, Vajinagar, however, however you pronounce this. No, no, see, people are quick to pun it. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Vagina <curse. laughs> So, once people are done laughing at that, um, I don't actually know how to pronounce this. It's probably like, Vigiana... Like, just something ridiculous that doesn't make sense, even though it's... It clearly looks like Vijayanagar. I... Uh, whatever. Uh, meanwhile, Ming has sort of ming ploded. Sort of. There's lots of land that's broken free, but there's still lots of Ming left. We don't know uh, what the current legitimacy is, though. Manchu has formed, but probably isn't going to be that much of a threat. Korchin's a thing. Yarkan has completely taken over the Oirad Horde. Um, meanwhile, of course, we have Super Hormuz, Mali, and uh, Ayer. Ethiopia has uh, taken over a decent chunk of land. Uh, Mogadishu has expanded across the entire eastern African coast. And... Uh, Mahafali has won Madagascar. Pasai is being Pasai, uh, although Great Britain has begun to um, colonize here in the Malaya. And Japan is Japan, uh, won by the Ashikaga Shogunate. We currently have a Shoguness. I don't know if that ever happened historically. I don't know that much about the uh, Shogunate in Japan historically. All right, well. We're currently losing money, probably in no small part due to the uh, sheer number of forts that we have. This fort can probably stand to go. Let's just get rid of that fort. I would like to upgrade some of these forts, though, because we're starting to lose sieges very quickly. It's going to cost us a lot of money, but let's do it. Let's try to stop people from taking over. Although, apparently, we're upgrading them to level 6s, so, I mean, that, that'll definitely be helpful. <laughs> No uh, question on that one, but... Now, the Austrians do have a small contingent down here. I'm going to go send in some troops to uh, quell the rebellion, as it were. And we're going to start thinking about attacking Persia, or Iraq, once we uh, win back some of these sieges. Oh, they're all making a run for it. Oh! These uh, troops are going to land and immediately get squished. Oh, Theodosius has won the Siege Specialist trait. 15% Siege ability. Nice. That's pretty strong. Oh, there's 7,000 Austrian peasants here, apparently. Well, whatever. We lost 700 people doing that. The religion in Capita... Capitanata changes to Orthodox, and some people are like, uh, he's leaving people without doing their thing. I, I know, I know, just just calm down, just a little bit, okay? Let's see, we could lose 100 ducats or get unrest and local goods produced. Let's get, uh, let's lose the, let's lose the ducats. All right, we've converted Ancona, and if we go to our religious map mode, we can see that uh, most of this area is now orthodox. Let's see. Now, we have completed the uh, Basilica in Roma. However, we still need to unlock the next, uh, or the religious idea to convert uh, heretics in order to actually uh, be able to, um, to, you know, w actually convert this province. So even though we're accepting the religion, and... <laughs> So even though we're accepting the religion, and or the uh, culture rather, and have the uh, 
plus 3% local missionary strength, we still are not able to convert this province. Now, is there a Inquisitor available? There is not. There is no Inquisitor. Well, we may just have to deal with this for a long time. Now, I would still very, very much like to peace out of this war, and holy cow, Sligo's done it. He's actually taken over the land. I don't believe it. Okay. So we currently have a 48% war score against Brittany. And we may be able to take over some provinces from Austria. See, that would be 69. Would we be able to just take this province? 41 is apparently too much. Oh, we only have 30% war score with, uh, with Brittany ourselves. So, I guess we just need to keep going here. Now, let's see. Now, most of these provinces suck because they're mountains. There's now a 55,000 stack of uh, peasants in Austria's capital, in Wien. The Brabantians are going at it again with their three-star general. They're actually going to beat the Austrians with that stack, which is incredible. Um, we've just gained Holy War against the Timurids. Which I don't understand because we, we can't really attack them. Uh... Right. Okie dokie, then. So what's Russia's deal? He's allied with Bohemia and Riazan, and he's guaranteeing the independence of Wallachia. Uh, probably because of us. Now, we're still allied to Hungary, interestingly enough. Which we could use to our advantage, though he is still allied with the Austrians. So the question we now have to ask ourselves is, you know, how much can we get away with... Um, in this in this war, because I don't know how much further France wants to go on this. Now we've only got a fifty percent uh, war score overall, but we've only got thirty percent is from our own individual contribution. We now have thirty one percent. So I want to piece out of this war early. Now I'm not going to completely screw over France. I am going to um, give them some land. Oh, there are, there are ongoing battles somewhere. Now, if Britain pieces out of the war, which is entirely possible, uh, given that his entire country is uh, besieged at this point by a uh, certain Irish uh, person, people, you know, things may not uh, things may not happen there. But we're gonna we're gonna do the siege in Tyrol. Because if we win the siege, we'll be able to just, you know, take a bunch of stuff from uh, Austria, hopefully. Spain has insulted us. Alright. Um, let's lose 15 diplomatic power. Not a big deal. Better than losing trade power, in my opinion. We do still have a loan of 940... A small loan of 945 ducats. Everlasting victory. Okay, so France peaced out early with uh, Austria. Didn't give us anything, of course, because we don't have any claims. But in the future, we may be able to attack Austria anyway, since their alliances are crap, to say the least. Uh, so we're going to immediately start um, fabricating some claims on them. They are immediately friendly towards us once again. However, uh, I now see them as a target of expansion and not of anything else. Now... Something somebody has pointed out, and he said from a, like a role-playing perspective, he said it would make a lot more sense, and we're taking attrition here, this is uh, definitely my fault. I'm sorry, people. Stop dying. Um, that attacking Venice, considering he's allied with the Knights, would be a great idea because um, the Knights still own Rhodes, um, which is rightful Byzantine clay. And we could get a stab at some of this lovely um, Venetian clay. And I agree with that, for the most part. So... We may only take a province or two, since uh, aggressive expansion will still be quite high. But uh, let's go ahead and regather the troops and get ready for a siege. <laughs> Austria has cancelled military access. Surprise, surprise. I'm sure they're hostile towards us now. No, they're just friendly. I think... 
When... Austria gives us military access right now. But it said he just cancelled it. I, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So yes, let us begin this most rightful and just war. Be versus, uh, yeah, the knights and <laughs> Venice. Um, I don't imagine this is going to be a tough war, so send in the troops. Okay, and then we need to grab the fleet. Uh, we're going to take the knights' fleet real quick. Yeah, went about as I expected. Okay, so we could gain 375 ducats, lose patriarchal authority, or we could gain some patriarchal authority. Um, which, let's do it. We're, al we're almost to 100%, actually. That's quite nice. Alright, the Venetians are already... Already in a spot of trouble. Provence has become an elector. Provence still exists? Where? Oh. They're like these two little provinces here. I guess they joined the HRE. Huh. Look at Sligo. He's got 46% war score. Against Britain. This is a defensive war as well, which I find to be especially hilarious. I'm just stunned that he's able to do this. <laughs> Convert all the things. Our religious unity is now 90%, which is really going to help with our unrest problem. Um, although having discontent and war exhaustion is certainly not helping either. We've converted Nablus to the one true religion. And uh, most of these are going to be like point threes and stuff remaining. But the conversion time on these is so quick it doesn't really matter. Uh, it looks like Iraq is having some rebel issues though with Iraqi peasants. But pretty easy war. Nothing to nothing to see here. Just annexing some Italian land. Don't worry about it. All right, uh, we have 100% war score with uh, Brittany, which means that France really needs to peace out um, before I do. Okay, we could pick up tolerance of the true faith. Um, the next admin tech gives us more states and we could get the absolute monarchy which is nice to get uh, that extra little discipline um, but tolerance of the true faith is actually really nice given how many orthodox provinces that we have so I'm actually gonna pick that up uh, basically reduce unrest by um, one across the entire empire all right we won the siege of Treviso and Brescia Alright, I'm just gonna auto-send my troops over here. I think we have a lot of transports, so yeah, we have 22 transports. I can't imagine that the knights are gonna pose um, enough of a threat to stop that kind of army, even though we are taking a naval crossing. Um, though, although we did just force the um, Venetians out, and they're actually kicking the crap out of our fleet. Uh, we're gonna have to retreat. Wow. Those Venetian galleys. <laughs> they are something else. Of course, our fleet also hasn't been upgraded in a long time. And uh, that definitely has something to do with it. Now the fleet's going to have to recover a little bit here. We would need a thousand ducats to fully upgrade the fleet. So, yeah. Suffice it to say our fleet's a little bit outdated. It's true. Alright, we're going to hopefully crush the uh, Venetian army here in the mountains. Yeah. You know, it's funny, the Venetians don't even have that many uh, heavy ships. Um, our fleet is, for the most part, recovered. We 
We gained another siege ability, Commander. Uh, we're gonna go crush the knights real quick. Don't want those lingering around. Sieging land and making people upset. Alright, let's go ahead and send out the fleet. See if the Venetians want to fight. Um, ah, shit, I meant, I meant to get an admiral before we went out again. For this exact reason. Yeah, we're, when, when can we retreat again? What is his admiral, anyway? He's like a, he's a 2-2. So, yeah, definitely has something to do with our, uh, our loss here. <laughs> Let's see, do we have any generals we're not using? We are actually using all of our generals at the moment. So, uh, we're gonna have to just suffer that modifier. Let's ease tension, make everyone like us, because we're Byzantium. Alright, the French-Breton colonial war finally ended. France took two provinces. <laughs> Despite that massive war. So, um, good for him, I guess. Alright, we need, clearly we need to start building, uh, more ships. We're <laughs> about, like, less than half of our actual, uh, force limit. And this, this war may end up taking, uh, more time than we originally intended just because of the, uh, issues we're running into with, uh, the Venetian fleet. And we still have 22 transports. And the Venetian fleet has decided to go blockade, so uh, we're gonna go move our uh, fleet into the Aegean, just very, very quickly. Try to get into the port of my uh, Mylasa. Sink the Knights' fleet very quickly, and then we will attach as much of this as we can to this province. Quickly get the fleet out to sea once again. And then uh, send in the army. Alright, we have a new uh, heir, Yones. Alright, can we make it in time? That is the question. It looks like the answer is going to be yes. Okay. So now we're going to begin the Siege of Rhodes. Doesn't look like the Venetian fleet wants to engage again yet, which is good for us. Alright, we can actually convert Rome now with a 19% modifier. convert all the things. And now we roads wholesale. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. It's just constant warfare here in the Byzantine Empire, isn't it? Of course, we're at that time where uh, we need to be constantly at war to keep expanding. Uh, our manpower continues to grow, as does our wealth and our land. And our truce with the Mamluks will be up in three years, which uh, is a very important thing to note, because we'll, we have a lot more land to take yet. But that's going to have to be in future episodes, so I thank you for joining me, my fellow conquerors, and I'll see you on the next one.